Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 46 Chronograph. 46 millimeters in stainless steel. You can see this vintage inspired automatic chronometer chronograph on Ocean Racer mesh bracelet and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel here if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during these videos to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop that don't include my wrist and naturally complete pricing details for this Super Ocean Heritage 46 chronograph. Now you can see the watch on my wrist is big and it has been since this model debuted in 2008. 46 millimeters is across the round of the case from 9 to 3, not inclusive of crown or chronograph pushers. It's thick at 16.5 millimeters, but it's bearable if you're wearing a sport jacket or a blazer because that will clear this watch with a little help from the rounded bezel and then its inclined plane up to the sapphire. From lug to lug, make no mistake, this is big. We're talking 56.5 millimeters from lug to lug, so the watch has impressive stance across the wrist. Although I would say at 16 centimeters, I can wear this watch comfortably. I would also say that 16 centimeters in circumference is probably the lower limit to wear this watch with a decent sense of proportion it would definitely stay on a 15 centimeter wrist, but I do think at that point you would have a good deal of lug overhang. Now that said, if you are going to wear this watch, you're going to benefit from the spectacular, both visually and ergonomically, Ocean Racer bracelet. Straight retaining bars, thin mesh, some brands will call this Shark Proof or Shark Hunter, and it's definitely in that aggressive aquatic adventurer style. Also very comfortable. It aerates the wrist beautifully to let heat, moisture, and grit escape. It's very silky because this is as small as links can get. There are times when it feels more like a very soft textile or fabric than a piece of metal. Indeed, it's many pieces of metal to achieve that effect. It has a polished single deployment, single fold deployment, I should say, with clamshell action for security security when closed, peace of mind on a very heavy and oversized sports watch, but securely retained on that spectacular bracelet, which I believe to be Breitling's best. You have a watch all of high polish with vintage inspired lines in modern dimensions. Now you can see it has very strong lugs, faceted, tapered, and rounded. This is how the watch can fit securely on a 15 centimeter wrist. Even though I think 16 is the lower limit for proportion, these lugs are quite dramatically downturned. So if you like the look of the watch, rest assured, a pretty small wrist can still wear this one securely. All of high polish, the watch certainly isn't bashful, but it does feature a tasteful combination of polished case, matte blue and silver bezel, and then metallic silver dial. Now the bezel itself is unidirectional rotating, but not luminescent. You align the index with the minutes hand. Now you can time two events concurrently. One zero to 60 minutes around the bezel and a second using the chronograph itself, which is a three register. And you can see the familiar triple register layout of the value 7750 based movement. Now the watch is easy to read and fully luminescent with its vintage inspired broad arrow hour hand and baton style minute hand. So you can easily read the time. It's simply not a diver with a luminescent pearl in the bezel. Now it does feature a date with a quick set, it does feature hacking seconds and a screw down crown and I will explain of course hacking seconds is a stop seconds function where you pull the crown out, stops the chronograph, stops the constant seconds, lets you synchronize the watch precisely to a reference time and you will want that because underneath the screwed in case back is a Breitling Caliber 13 also known as the Valjoux 7750 albeit in chronometer specification the highest grade of 7750, receiving the Swiss COSC chronometer certificate, internally upgraded to make that standard and regulated by Breitling, you have quick set, hacking seconds, chronograph, automatic winding, and a 42 hour power reserve. Thanks to the screw down crown, you also have 200 meter water resistant. And of course, the watch is designed dial, bezel, and case to evoke vintage imagery, and that's continued on the crown side, where you can see the conspicuous absence of shouldered crown guard. In my opinion, you don't need them. I've never had a watch on my wrist smashed this side of the watch and not had massive microsurgery consequences for the wrist itself. When you think about it, crown guards are a little bit of a style flourish. 
that's quite well protected and honestly for the easier access to the crown, improved ergonomics and charming vintage aesthetic, I'll do without shouldered crown guards. This is a watch that's big, bold and yet pays deference to Breitling's rich history in the sports watch realm. You can see this modern classic, part of Breitling's modern day best-selling model line, Super Ocean Heritage, and purchase it on our website.